morning, Joe Deary, Powerful Improvements, Putnam, Connecticut. Uh, we're back this week. I got a real busy week. I uh, have been out for a few days, had some issues with my camera, my telephone, had to get a new telephone. I'm rocking the iPhone 12 mini now. So tell me what you think about the quality. Um, I've taken a couple test videos and it seems to be much better than what we were doing before. So let me know what you think. If you haven't already liked and subscribed to my channel, please do so. It helps out quite a bit. And we got three or four projects going on today. I'm out here set up with the rig right now on this house. I have annual agreement with this house uh, to do gutter work, gutter cleaning. Uh, talking to my good friend Herb Michelli down in uh, Louisiana with All Pro Exterior Cleaning. And uh, he and I have come to uh, have quite a few great conversations. And uh, one we had yesterday was talking about annual contract and rephrasing that to annual agreement. Um, is a little softer sell for the client. They don't feel like they're actually in a contract. And truthfully, I'm not doing like a written contract. It's a verbal agreement. I'm saying, hey, you know, I'll come out and do these services for you. Uh, and this is the price. And it's a little softer for the client. And uh, I, like the, I like the term annual agreement much better. So that's how we're doing it. But anyway, uh, you can see I got my 24 foot ladder set up over there. I'm gonna go up on the roof with the 525 leaf blower and show you what these look so I like. I got the rig all set for the day. I got the 525 all fueled up. I like to top off for the day. And some nice uh, 50 to one in there. I got 55 gallons of fresh shock from AgroChem. I've made myself seven gallons of Eliminator soap and I'll have plenty to go for the day. Uh, we will be fueling up on the next, before the next job. Uh, I gotta get that tank full, get, that one's already full, etc. But we're gonna be, uh, full for the day momentarily and we're about to jump on the road. the result i got a little bit of cleanup to do down bottom here as you can see we don't have any beautiful landscaping i did avoid that pond i cleaned some of that by hand over there so that i wouldn't blow it into the pond and uh, this whole project is taking me less than a half an hour so far i blew the debris off the roof while i was here and again a uh, quick little grease the wheels pay for my week right, project we're done packed up and on to the next one show you guys this is a real tree from walmart polyester SPF fishing shirts and this thing was like $15 you know somewhat similar to your very expensive uh, fin print shirts which we will be doing at some point I do think I'm gonna go with something like this with my logos on the back but uh, this is a nice option for right now 15 bucks uh, keep a little chemical a little sun off me and uh, again on to the next one here we go Ryan we're out here topping off our fuel nice full tank here filling up the gas tank now Okay, I'm all set up on my second project. We've got this beautiful lake home and I uh, had to put a ladder up there. There's no access to that second floor porch. So I need to get up over that rail so I can shoot all that's up in there. And then uh, we got a beautiful lake out here. And it's pretty funny, they got this remote control alligator right there, alligator head. Beautiful little lake. I just washed this little shed. And you can see I got my truck set up, up the hill. I've pulled down this runway. I got all 250 feet of hose pulled. So this is where the electric hose reels are real nice for me at the end of the day. They'll be begging, but at least I won't be killing myself pulling those things up back up the hill. All right, so I'm over here on the far side. We're about to start soaping. I pulled hose all the way around the house, up through these gardens, through the trellis, as carefully as I can. A little more landscaping than I'm used to, so I'm just gonna slow my roll a little bit and we're gonna do a nice job out here. Maybe score a few more of these. Lots of plants around. I'm gonna try not to spray the plants, and uh, this is vinyl sided shake, so this looks like wood but is not. So it's a perfect little vinyl wash for us. And we should cruise right through this. I'm thinking maybe two hours total on this project. 
given that I gotta go over the railing and we've been up and down, up and down the hill, stuff like that. I take note of some clear silicone on the bottom of this window right here. It's already there, not something we disrupted. M5 wrenching now. I'm up in this crazy patio now with these big windows and a lot of concern I get at the lake. Clients are always like, you know, my windows, you're not gonna leave spots all over my windows. So we do a little extra rinse. I got the eliminator turned up, maybe half a dial more than I have been, just to make sure these come nice and rinse free. But I've been having great success using eliminator. Very, very, very thinned out, very reduced, very cut. And uh, we're gonna shoot these windows and they're gonna be just as clean, cleaner than they are Hold right my now. my hose up in here. I get excess of what I need. There's about 50 feet up here. There's my 50 foot union. And what I do is I snake the wire through the top like this. And that stops the hose from pulling back over the rail on you. So we're putting a nice, nice coating of soap on here. So check this out, we got this gutter right here, which feeds water into this urn, which has a hose going into these saloon doors, which houses a urinal, a little outside bathroom with a flush from the hose. You turn the valve right there, water goes in, flushes into some type of drainage system they have in the back. Pretty frigging cool. All right, those windows came out sweet, no issues. Gleaming streak free and I'm done. I just got to bring my 24 foot ladder up the hill and I'm all wrapped up on the truck. Okay, we're getting set up on the third job. We got our sign out on this busy street. I got this nice colonial cape style house here. Vinyl sided, bump out in the back. It's pretty dirty. It's nice and dark under the trees. And I got this concrete foyer area, which we're going to clean up. So I'm going to hit that with some house wash, let it dwell for a little while. And then we're going to hit that with the surface max. And I'm going to be using, because of the quick release in and out, I'm going to use my pistol and my DN10 uh, that I can quick release in and out. So this has a swivel right here. Then the DN10, the gun does not have a swivel. And we're going to just use the M5 and shooter chip just like that. And I'm gonna pull hose and get going. All right, so we're hitting this patio area with our house wash soap before we start washing the house. So this gets the longest time to dwell. And hopefully it'll make some of this grime come off a little bit easier. I am downstreaming straight, fresh, 100% SH at about 15 or so in my jug, so I'm about 1.5 on the tip. And we're gonna let this hang out for probably 20 minutes maybe before I actually get back over here. And then the surface clean is gonna take nice care of this. Okay, you can see we bump out in the back, we got the the main house, which is pretty big. I'll be able to get up under the tree there, no problem. And then the addition on the back. So it's a little bigger than it looks. Oh, this thing will cruise. Piece of cake. Same method as always.
right, we get this beautiful pool deck and this is the back of the house. So obviously I'm shooting that top roof there and then I'm gonna shoot this garage roof here. Uh, they both have that black staining on them. The other roofs over there on the right hand side are a newer addition. So those roofs look great. So anyway, I got the 32 set up right there. I got all my 12 volt hose pulled over to the base. I got power washing hose pulled over here so I can spray everything down, get it wet first before I go up there. And I'm gonna move that 32 onto this roof and then shoot this roof. So I'm gonna do a little time lapse video just for fun. All right, we're wrapping it up. Hose is back on, ladder's back on. For those of you that are curious, we used about 20 gallons of shock today total and about eight to 10 gallons of shock here on this roof today. We used about two gallons of soap total. I used about one gallon of soap on this roof. So maybe eight or 10 gallons of soap, SH, and uh, one gallon of very diluted soap. So pretty good deal. So I'm wrapping this thing up and we'll be out and we'll see you guys tomorrow.